All right, just about two weeks after Paramount released the final trailer for Top Gun Maverick, they hit the streets with a behind the scenes video that focuses on the flight syllabus that Tom Cruise created for the other actors. So let's break it down. We are cleared into the area. Verify cameras are on. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Here comes some Gs. There's five Gs. All right, let's go to the training aids. You hear the pilot say, here comes some G. And then he does an aileron roll, which doesn't generate any G at all, really. Oh! Seven Gs. As described in my Pulling Gs episode, if you're making a lot of noise during an anti-G straining maneuver, you're not doing it right. All right. That was awesome. Again, we see the big fighter. Please see my Now We Know What Happens with the F-14 Tomcat in Top Gun Maverick episode for my guess on what the F-14 does in this movie. I wasn't ready to make a sequel until we had a special story worthy of a sequel and until technology evolved so we could delve deeper into the experience of a fighter pilot. The first movie became something that changed a generation. So this is exciting to come back and get in those jets again. We worked with the Navy and the Top Gun School to formulate how to shoot it practically. Because if we're going to do it, we're going to fly in the F-18s. The aviation sequences had to be real. So our actors went through three months of grueling training. Push-ups on the flight line, really? The Navy says if you eject, you have to be able to survive in the water. So we had to go through that challenging underwater program. It's intense. You're flipped inverted and you're having to try and get out. All right, here we see the Hilo Dunker, which we'd have to do every four years. So you'd do four runs of the Hilo Dunker when you were doing your recall. You'd go out your own window, you'd go out the main door, then you'd put on these goggles that would blind you as if it was night, and then you'd go out your own window and you'd go out the main door. Now in this footage, you see Tom Cruise reaching for his reference point, which is the proper technique. You want to find your reference point before you release your lap belt, because otherwise you're going to get disoriented. How do I know this? The Hilo Dunker is great training, and a number of aviators have attributed their survival in a helicopter crash to their Dunker training. From there, Tom designed this. So here's the cast, manning up in t-shirts and tennis shoes. You can see one of the Nautic advisors with him wearing his powder blue t-shirt, which means he's a Top Gun instructor. So this evolution was probably just a cockpit fam on the flight line. All encompassing aviation training for all the actors. As I mentioned in a previous trailer breakdown, looks like they got the patches on the flight suits thing right in this one. So a couple of former Tomcat squadrons there and one that I was actually in, puking dogs, second from the right, and then Phoenix is a black ace, now VFA-41, was VF-41 back in the day. So I'm happy to see they didn't go hog wild with the patches on the flight suits like they did in the first movie. I started them out in a single engine airplane to build up their spatial awareness inside the aircraft. Oh, wow. That's amazing! Oh, my God! Next, we took them to the L-39. And they went and flew aerobatics to feel what it's like in a jet. It's a speed. Wow. From there, they'd graduate. Left to right is Hangman, Payback, Fanboy. I'm not sure who the next guy is. Phoenix and Rooster. To the F-18 Super Hornet and actually launching off an aircraft carrier. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so let's talk about the flight syllabus that Tom Cruise came up with. You heard Jerry Bruckheimer say it took three months. Started in a Cessna 172 just to get the feeling of being airborne. And then do some heavy-duty acrobatics in a propeller plane, the extra 330, which is fully aerobatic, and that'll definitely get your attention. Then into the L-39, the jet aircraft, fully aerobatic. Finally, they jumped into the backseat of the Super Hornet. Now, you heard Joe Kaczynski, the director, say that they all flew off of the boat. They did not. The only actor who got to fly off of the carrier, and that was the Theodore Roosevelt, was Tom Cruise. But everybody else did fly in the actual airplanes from shore bases like Whidbey and Fallon and Lemoore. The actors also had to learn how to run the cameras because when they're up in the jet, they have to direct themselves, essentially. Okay, I'm rolling. 
I had to really... So you see Phoenix Tapper mask, and that's to get the sound sequencing right, just like they do the clacker. That's so the audio is sequenced with the visual. Teach them cinematography and the lighting so that they understood what's gonna look good on camera. Sun angle's great. Everybody thought it would be impossible for actors to really be in the jets. But that's the gift that Tom gave us, that by the time we got up there, we could handle it. Definitely the most amazing thing I've ever done. All the training, 100% prepared us. I'm very proud of what we all accomplished. Each one of them are extraordinary. And that is considerably less than 500 feet, so let's just call it a training rules violation. It still blows my mind that we've done this. I'm going to be very curious to see what the point of threading this trestle is in the movie. There's nothing like it. Pro tip, when you're flying close to the ground, even when you're fighting G, keep your eyes open. All right, the movie's coming out in about five weeks as I'm recording this. So we're psyched to see it here at this channel. Hope you are too. That'll do it for this episode. If you're a first time viewer, please ring the bell, become a subscriber so you don't miss anything. Give me the likes and comment. Check out the links below for merch, including where to get the Punks trilogy. My first three novels about life in an F-14 squadron, now available for the first time as a Kindle. So check it out at amazon.com. If you'd like to help support the channel, Please consider using the super thanks, the heart icon below, or become a patron at patreon.com slash wardcarroll. In the meantime, I look forward to talking to you again soon.